Hello friends and welcome back. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We absolutely did here. So we've had plenty of leftover turkey sandwiches and such, but I wanted to show you what I do with the carcass because some people just toss it out. Some of you do something with it. Well, I wanted to show you what I do. So I actually go through the entire carcass and remove any usable meat. You'd be surprised at how much meat is left on that carcass. So I go through, I cut off any usable meat. If I would eat it, then I'll use it. I'll put it in a separate bowl and I cut off any skin or veins or cartilage or any of that stuff. That just makes me weak in the stomach. I, I can't handle that stuff. So I do remove it. I put everything in about a gallon of water. You judge how much water you need in yours. Um, I put everything in there and I bring it up to a boil. And with that leftover meat that I salvaged, I'm going to go ahead and cover that and put it in the refrigerator for now. And like I said, I bring that water up to a boil. Once it starts boiling, I'm going to turn the heat down. I want it kind of in between a simmer and a boil. And I'm going to let it go for about five hours. So in the meantime, I'm going to grab some celery and I'm going to remove uh, six to seven stalks and set those aside. I'm going to cut the end off the heart. I'm going to just discard that because it's got a little bit of dirt on it. And I'm going to cut the heart in half and I'm going to throw it in that pot with the bones. And basically what I'm making is my own broth. So I'm gonna remove the top and ends from each piece of celery and throw those in that pot as well. They're gonna add a lot of flavor to my homemade broth. So I'm going to chop up my celery and put it in a separate container for later. And I'm also gonna do the same thing with an onion. So both of the ends of the onion, I threw those in the pot with the bones as well and chopped up probably about a cup of onion. I used red, you can use whatever color you want. So after about five hours, I'm gonna strain my pot out and remove the bones and just keep the liquid and I'm going to add my veggies to that and I added about two cups of chopped carrots to that as well and while that's cooking I'm going to make some homemade pasta so of course I'm going to have the recipe in the description box but I'm going to measure out my liquids separate from two cups of flour and one teaspoon of salt and I used a third cup of water, two eggs, and a teaspoon of cooking oil. So I'm just gonna mix my salt in the flour just a little bit and create a well in the center and add my liquids to the center of that well. So I'm just gonna mix that in slowly, kind of mixing the center of the well, the liquids, and kind of gradually adding in a little bit of the flour from the edges and gradually mixing it in. Some point you're gonna use your hands because it's becoming too thick to mix. And at that point, I'm going to put it on my counter with just a little flour underneath it. You don't wanna use too much flour because you don't want your pasta dry. So I'm gonna knead it for about two minutes and I want it really elasticy and soft. So once I get it to the consistency I like, I'm gonna roll it out. Now, I would suggest rolling your pasta to the thickness that you like. Most people like it very thin. I actually like mine kind of thicker and that's how my mom did it, so that's what I grew up with. So I roll it out to the thickness that I like and I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back, give it another roll and cut my pasta. So I'm not careful at all with how I cut it. I don't, I don't care if it looks perfect. And I just cut it to the size, basic size that I want. And I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my soup right now. And I do add it one piece at a time because it's wet pasta, so it might stick together. So I add it one piece at a time. Um, you can, of course, dry your pasta for six to eight hours 
and either put it in the freezer or an airtight container. I think it'll last for about two weeks. Um, but like I said, I add mine straight to my soup and it's just a little bit thicker and kind of a little bit like a dumpling. At least to me, that's what it reminds me of. So it's just really hearty. So once I get my pasta added, I'm gonna taste it to see if it needs more seasoning, the broth. And I add about uh, four or five teaspoons of chicken bouillon to it because I felt like it needed a little bit more of a salty flavor. And the last thing I'm gonna add is that reserved meat. And yeah, it's perfect. I love this recipe. I usually do it once a year with the turkey. You can do it with chicken as well. So anyway, I hope you like this recipe. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.